Okay, you may now begin. So, good morning, students. I am your teacher for today. I'm Teacher Diane. So, how's your day? Good? All right. So, we have a new topic for today, which is the development of English for specific purposes. First, let us pray. Okay. Okay, so everyone here, so can we start up? Um secretary, there, there's anything uh there's everyone who are absent? No? Okay, thank you. So before we proceed to our topic, let's have uh, a game which is the four picks and one word. I knew some of you aren't uh some of, some of you are uh, familiar with this game, so um, it have four four uh, four four pictures that you will guess. So this is the first photo. Anyone who wants to guess the photo? Correct. It is analyze. Okay, to our second photo. Raise your hand if you wanted to answer. Correct. It is register. Okay, to our third photo. Yes. All right. It is skills. To our last photo. Anyone? Correct, it is target. So, our topic for today is all about the development of specific English specific purposes. First, when we say development, what first comes to your mind? Anyone? Yes. Good, very good. Another answer. Yes, correct. So as, um, let's have a recall about the ESP. Uh, ESP is a, sub, is a subset of English as a second or foreign language. It is usually refers to teaching the English language to university students or people already in employment with reference to the particular vocabulary and skills they need. Uh, ESP started growing since 1950s and 1960s 
with the growth of science and technology and widespread use, use of English as international language. In 1984, there was a need of be in, in, for incoming Huguenot and Protestant refugees. Uh, actual commercial textbook in ELP was written in 19th century. Swales episode in ESP. Uh, Swales episode is a harmonized or some major developments uh, the in evolution of young and growing students in ESP. So I have a question. Uh, what are the materials that teacher use in ESP to students like you? Anyone who wants to answer? Uh, yes, the materials can be used uh, in uh, teaching ESP are the linguistic, visual, auditory. Yes, very good. Next, uh, let, let's go to our main topic, which is the phases of English for a specific purposes. We have five phases of ESP. The first one is register analysis. Uh, register can be used to determine authentic authenticity of language in relation to lexical and grammatical features. When we say register, it is the first step in of the students and it also helps the teachers to know what are the things that they should know about their students to, modif to motivate their students. Uh, yes, to motivate their students. And the second one is the rhetorical or discourse analysis. This focuses to the level above the sentence. It is involved with the emerging field or discourse of rhetorical analysis. When we say rhetorical or discourse, as we do last minute ago, the, the uh, example of it is uh, we do the four fix in one word. So, we can motivate the students to um, to uh, no, to to, uh, to to motivate the students on our topic and uh, rhetorical. It it is impressive. Yeah, expressive. The how we can how we can. Uh, gather the, the motivation of the students. The third one is the target situation analysis. Target situation analysis takes the existing knowledge and sets it on a more scientific basis by establishing procedures correlating language analysis more on closely to learners' reason for learning. It is also marked as a certain coming age of tar age of ESP uh, target as it comes uh, on its spread target. What are the targets that uh, students must know? Uh, students must know on the specific uh, topic. Okay, let's have a recap. The first, uh, the first phase is the register. The second one is the rhetorical. The third one is the target. So uh, let's go to our fourth phase, which is the analysis of study skills. Uh, the growth of needs analysis identified priorities among the four skills in some situations. The reason is efficiency of teaching language for the development of the ability to perform the required tasks of tertiary level. As we know, um, there are students uh, learn fast. There are students a uh, fast learner. There are students that um, learn in quiet place, quiet place, quiet surroundings. Uh, we all know that students have different ways of learning. So teacher must know uh, the what kind of students uh, are they going to. Uh, I'm going to teach. Okay, the last 
is the learning-centered approach. There are three. Uh, the first one is to consider the process of learning and student motivation. The second one is to help learners develop the certain learning skills for, from their academic study or experience at work. And these skills can be exploited in ESP classroom. The third, third one is to take into account the fact that different students learn in different ways. As we said on analysis of study skills, there are students learn in different ways. Okay, so let's have a recap again. Um, what is the first phase? All right, it is register. The second phase, all right, it is discourse and rhetorical and discourse analysis. Okay, the third phase, target and situation analysis. Okay, very good. The fourth one, okay, very good. It is analysis of study skills. Okay, the fifth, okay, it is the learning-centered approach. Okay, as, as I can see, you are familiar with the basis of English-specific purposes, so let's have a exercise. Oh, okay, answer this on your notebook. I will give uh, 10 minutes to answer. Direction, it's statement describe a specific phase in ESP. Write one if the statement describes the first phase. Two, if the statement describes the second phase. Three, if the statement describes the third phase. Four, if the statement describes the fourth phase. And five, if describes the fifth. Okay. Okay, next, next slide. Okay, are you done? Okay, let's check. Number one, it, it is number one, which is the register and register analysis. Okay, correct. Number two. Okay, correct. This is number one again. It is register analysis. Number three. Okay, correct. It is the rhetorical number two rhetorical and discourse analysis number four what is answer in number four correct it is the the fifth one it is the uh correct it's the learning learning uh learning centered analysis okay the next number five what is answering number five Okay, correct. It is the register again. Number six wants to answer. Okay, correct. It is the analysis of study skills, which is number three. Number seven wants to answer. Okay, correct. It is the learning centered approach, which is the fifth one. Okay, last, the coming age of ESP wants to answer. Okay, correct. It is the target situation analysis. So, okay, uh, I can see that you all you all familiar with the uh, basis of basis of English specific purposes. So, I want you to make uh, make a timeline of the development of ESP uh, according to the five phases of specific purposes. I will give you uh, 10 minutes to answer. Okay, done. Okay, pass your papers. Okay, so for your assignment, uh, study or make time to read the ESV approach, not a product, page 34 to 37. I'm going to stop. Okay, I'm going to stop recording. I'm going to stop recording. I'm going to stop recording.